Hi guys, my name is Megan from the blog wilsonhomestead.com and today I have a small thrift haul to show you guys. I have kind of been collecting some of this stuff over the past few months, so this is an all from one thrift shopping trip. I tend to take a long time to decide about if I want to buy things from the thrift store, especially if they're decor items. Because I'm just not like the greatest at thrifting and they have to be really specific. We are remodeling our 100 plus year old farmhouse. So I've been looking for pieces that really go with the farmhouse style. And I found, the ones that I found, I'm pretty happy with. But I'm also really picky, so I don't have a whole lot of them. So <laughs> I'm not always sure if something that I'm looking at is, is what I want. I don't know exactly how to explain this, but even if I like something, even if I like how it looks, I'm not positive it'll go with our house. Because I'm just not the best at like decorating, like paint colors. I just go with white walls. As you'll be able to tell, our house is like, has only white walls. But I'm a little indecisive, so there's not a ton of things in this haul, but I'm excited to show you guys because the things I did get, I love. So without further ado, let's get right into this thrift haul. So the first thing I got was this little framed picture. It has some flowers in a vase. It looks very vintage and rustic. It's still feminine while being rustic at the same time. So I really like this one. It just kind of brings an extra homey feel to the house. I have it hung right at the entrance that goes from our kitchen to our living room. So it's right in where all the traffic is. I just love seeing it hanging on the wall there. I think it's just perfect for that spot. I actually didn't even realize how much that spot needed a thing until I put it there and I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. This is exactly what the spot needed, but I didn't even know it needed the spot until I put something there. It was, it was a little weird, but I really just enjoy how this looks. Like it is just very, very cute and I love the style. It looks like kind of antique, vintage. I'm definitely all for the antique stuff. I also got three kind of flat baskets. They all match, but I really like basket walls. And so I got these actually for our bedroom. I asked a bunch of you guys on Instagram where I should hang them in the bedroom because again, I'm just not super great with deciding this sort of stuff. And you guys gave me some great ideas. I was debating between putting them above our bed because we don't have a bed frame, so we don't have a headboard. So it kind of be, could sort of be like a headboard type thing. Or I was gonna put it on the wall. We have our bed all the way in the corner and I was gonna put it above on the wall that's on the side of the bed. That was definitely the most voted against. <laughs> but then you guys gave me the idea of putting it in the corner and have kind of the corner with the baskets and I'll eventually get more baskets and it'll kind of grow out and be this kind of corner basket wall, which I do like that idea, but I'm also not very good at basket walls, so I'm not really quite sure if I'll do that. I'm Right now I'm leaning a little bit more towards hey, just hanging them above the head of our bed. but. We will see. By the time this is up, I will have decided because I'll have some B-roll in here with them wherever they're hanging. I really like how simple they are. They're gonna look really nice on the wall. They're really nice and flat, so they're not gonna be too odd looking on the wall. I am not a huge fan of the basket walls that have baskets that are like this tall. It just, I know it's supposed to like give it more texture and stuff, but I don't really like it. I feel like it's a little weird, at least for my house. I got another little hanging picture and I know ex already exactly where I'm gonna put this. I haven't hung it up yet, only because we are still remodeling our kitchen and that's where I want to put it. So there's this spot, if you go through our kitchen and then kind of at the back corner of the kitchen, it goes up our stairway, but right there is a little section of the wall. On the other side is our French doors that go out to our big, nice wooden porch. But right there is that little wall section that I want to hang a rack, just a little rack with like three hooks or something. And I want to hang my aprons there and I want to put this above the rack. I think that would look so cute. It's going to be a white shiplap wall, just as it is in the rest of the house. <laughs> and then it'll be a wood hanging rack that Luke makes and then this above it. So it'll be really nice contrast against the white walls. So I'm really excited about hanging these up when, when the kitchen is done. It's still a work in progress. It, we're slowly remodeling this house. so. It won't be for a little while, but I'm just very excited to hang it up when it is. And then the last decor item is this adorable little hanging thing. I don't even know what this is called. Picture. I love this thing. I don't even know what it is about that I love. It just looks so vintage and antique, but so feminine, and it just goes exactly with the style I'm going with for our farmhouse. But this was hand painted, made in the USA. It has a little hook at the top to hang it with, but I just love that flower. 
And I haven't decided where I'm gonna put this either. It kind of seems like a piece that would be kind of nice in the bathroom, maybe above the toilet, but we also have a really small bathroom and it's kind of full with practical things. So there's like the baby bathtub hanging in the wall, there's a shelf of toilet paper and cloths, there's a linen closet, there's towel hooks and stuff. So even with just the practical stuff and no decor in there or no pictures hanging on the wall, it looks a little bit busy. And I try to keep things as minimalist as possible. So this probably will not go in the bathroom until we move to it, maybe when we move to the next house. If there's two bathrooms or if it's a bigger bathroom, I might think about it, but I'm not totally sure what I will hang this yet. Maybe like above the French doors, going out to a porch, maybe somewhere else in the kitchen. I don't really think it's a good thing for our bedroom because we do have the baskets that will go in there. Where would you guys hang this in your house? I, I want to hear some ideas because again, I have a hard time deciding these things. So this is my little decor haul. I There's like four items here, but I am so excited about all of these things. Like there are just like perfect pieces for the house. And this is why I take so long to decide on pieces for my house because I want to feel excited to hang it up. I don't want to get it, bring it home, and just be like, eh, I mean, it's kind of good, but I'm not sure. I'm just like indecisive like that. But all four of these pieces I am thrilled about. And that's that's what I'm going for when I thrift things. So I there are several thrift stores locally that I really like. There's several online thrift stores on Instagram that I really like too, that I will link for you guys below. because They have like the most beautiful pieces. I've gotten a couple of these pieces from them. My favorite one is the Thrifted Home Place. I've actually done a collaboration with Eleonora Hurst on YouTube. So she's really awesome. But I got several of these pieces from her shop because she has the best ones. <laughs> because then if it's, a, if it's an online shop, I can look at it, think about it for a little while, and then go back and decide I wanna get it. Whereas if I'm at a thrift store, I have to, I have to get it before I leave. I really like online thrift shops. If you like these thrift haul kind of videos for decor or any other stuff, please let me know and I will work on finding more thrifted items to share with you guys because I do really enjoy thrifting. I just have a hard time deciding. But if I know you guys like these videos, I will definitely try harder. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this haul. I know it wasn't for many things, but I seem to have plenty to talk about. So, But thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.